So what we're demonstrating today is trying to take a, a selected herbage sample of grass from what the cows are actually grazing. So what you need to do is you need to have a look across the paddock. Uh, how well is it grazed? Um, what's the intensity of grazing or the height of grazing? So we would say on average this paddock just in this section here probably grazed a bit laxer over there is grazed to in around 4.1 4.2 centimeters. And just look at the dung pads. If you look at the dung pads they're pretty well grazed as well so to be representative you need to take um, you need to take some sample of the dung pad as well like that dung pad there is nearly 50% grazed that dung pad is probably you know 60% grazed and the one over there this one furthest over it's, it's probably 70% grazed so they have to be representatively taken as well so that's fine what we do then is once we have once we recognize what the intensity of grazing is we have to move on to the um, next paddock that the animals are grazing and take a sample of what they are what we would say is being selected. So we'll move on now and we'll um, just take a sample of, of, of what's being selected. So, generally what we do is um, we get down and we take uh, about 20 snips, we call them snips, taken with the Gardena shears. Gardena is quite, quite, a, quite a, a sharp instrument. So generally about 20 samples across the paddock, walk the paddock in an X or a W, doesn't really matter, but what we're looking at is a representative sample that's cut to the right post grazing height. So down you go, and um, generally, um, rather than cutting the grass like that, that would not be the way we would like to, to cut the grass. We want to get in and get to the right height of the grass straight away. So take out the sample, well, you have to watch your hands with this instrument, it's quite, 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 quite a, 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 a sharp instrument. Cut out the grass. Tell the grass what it's been spaced at. And that's what you're looking at. A sample pretty much cut to the, to the post grazing height of what the animal is and into the bag then. And we're looking at this, we're going to have to sample some of the dung pads as well as we go across it. So if there's, there's a remnant of a dung pad, let's take the top of it and put it in. Back down again into a more, uh, let's say into the, into the full sward, put the out, down into it, and all in one motion. It has to be in one motion, otherwise you're picking up grass and you won't be able to pick up grass. If you can just look at that there, you're picking up. If you're cutting that in two motions, like what I'm going to do now, like that and that, you can't sample that correctly. It has to be in one motion in, in, in selected herbage sampling. Again, there's dung pads here. I'm on my third sample here now. Just take it, top of the sward, gone into about halfway in the sward then. Down back into the middle of the low sward again. again. Again, one motion and all the grass coming up again. So just keep keep walking across the paddock, taking probably a sample every eight or ten steps back into the clean sward again. And this is a lovely sward for, for, for sand because it's, it's, it's really clean. All again in one motion. And you can see there the cleanness of the sward coming out. So generally what we're looking at is 20 samples across the paddock, good representation. If you think you're cutting too high, just leave that sample behind you and go back and take a, 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 a cleaner sample. After that, one